Any point and say hi? No, you just want to go for your walk, huh? Okay, we'll go in a few minutes. Hey, kia ora. Helen Brahms here coming to you live from Sun City in Arizona. Hope you're all having a super fantastic sparkling Tune Up Tuesday. That day of the week where we take make those tweaks and changes. We put some good music on. We tune up by dancing. We tune our bodies with dancing and exercise. If you want to call it exercise, you can. I call it dancing. Um, and just generally have fun. I just realized I got all my bright lights on. <laughs> it has been an awesome day today. It started off really cool. Got a lot of stuff done this morning. Had a very productive morning before I got onto the chat this afternoon. Had a great time on the chat this afternoon. Got really busy in there at some point too. Not sure what was going on, but um, had a lot of calls. Had a lot of chats coming in at once. It was um, it was intense there for a couple of minutes. <laughs> it was actually it was more than a couple of minutes, but it was an intense time and had a complete blast. And the cool news of the day is I got an email to state that I had a package, which I had been expecting. I actually wasn't expecting the package till Thursday, but when I went in and checked the shipping information, the tracking information, it said it was being delivered today. So I was like, oh, and then I got notification that my package had arrived. And my package is, um, I've joined this company that um, where we, um, where you can get silver coins sent on a get sent to you every month so you may on a you can get one coin delivered to you you can get 10 coins delivered to you every month and so my first order was in so um yeah got some really cool coins and there were some that i special ordered and there's a reason i special ordered them so i'm going to show you the special order ones because they're really really cool um but i got a fancy box a fancy schmancy box here so the first one is, um, oh, hang on, I've got to figure out how to get them out of it. I've got them in here. How do I get them out of it? Let's go get them out. So this one here is um, Lady and the Tramp. It's a silver coin, and this was, oh, I've got the little sleevey thing stuck underneath it. I'm going to have to go back in and fix the sleeve, but um, it's actually a $2 silver coin. And don't worry about the black piece. That's part of the liner that's in there to stop it moving around. I didn't see it properly. I'll have to go back in and change that. But that's the Lady and the Tramp collector's coin. Um, and they're all, um, these are all one ounce of silver. Um, then I got this one, which is the ring from, oops, I'm trying to get it so you're not getting all the, oops, let's go this way. That's the ring from Lord of the Rings. And that's because, you know, that was Brad's, Brad enjoyed those books and the movies and that sort of thing. I enjoyed the movies too. Um, now, this one has a very special story behind it. So, The Lady and the Tramp got it because it's Disney. Um, I'm, not a, I'm not a big, big Disney fan like some people where they've got season tickets and they're down there like daily um, or every weekend or whatever. Um, if I go, I go. If I don't, I don't. It's no big no big deal. Um, but, you know, we go and we have fun and that's it. We leave. And, but I, Lady and the Tramp is one of my favorite Disney movies. I just love that movie. Uh, mind you, I like all of their movies, most of their movies. So... <laughs> And Lord of the Rings, I got um, in honor of Brad. Um, this one here on the 16th of June, 1982, a little movie came out. And I was a teenager at the time. And I went on a, I was out for most of the day because I had to walk down to the bus stop, which was downtown. And that was probably took me about 30 minutes to walk down there and then I had to get on the bus and it was about a 30 minute drive to the end of the line which is where I got off and then I had probably about a 20 minute walk from there to the movie theater watch the movie and I can't remember how long it is and I was supposed to look it up before this started then I did the reverse of all of that except it took me about an hour to walk back home because the walk home was up this humongous hill um, but this little movie was called E.T. And so they brought out an ET coin to commemorate the 40th anniversary of the release of the movie. And it was released on the 16th of June, 1982. I don't remember when I actually went and saw it or why I went and saw it, but that was the very first movie I ever saw by myself. The next time I went to the movies by myself, so over the years I've always gone with someone, friends, Brad, um, family, always gone to the movies with someone. Um, except for in 2019, I think it was. I'm pretty sure it was 2000. Yeah, it was 2019 because I was living in Sparkles at the time. 
Um, and I didn't have Zephy then. I think it was 2019. I'm going to have to go look up and see where that movie came in. Um, I went, so remember, 1982, at some point in 1982, after the 16th of June, I went and saw E.T. by myself. Very first movie I ever took myself to. Um, and then the next time I took myself to the movie theater by myself um, was in, yeah, towards the end of 2019, I went and saw the movie The Overcomer when it came out. Um, yeah, so 2000, between 1982 and 2019, that's a lot of years. <laughs> without going to the movie by yourself. So, um, yeah, I've only ever been to two movies by myself, and it was E.T. and The Overcomer. Um, and then this one here has a very special meaning, and as soon as you all see it, you will know why. Need I say more? Isn't that cool? And on, on the back of these, it's all got um, Queen Elizabeth II's engraving relief, head relief on there. So um, these are all one-ounce silver coins. Um, and those are the four special ones that I ordered. So I was kind of, I was super excited to get those today. And I've got my little collector's kit here. It came with white gloves. It's even got a little magnifying glass thing here. So you can see all those details. And the other two special ones I got were, these ones were struck, were struck in 2020. One is from... They were struck in San Francisco in 2020, and this is the Silver Eagle, Eagle Emergency Issue. Struck in France, and this is from the, the first strike from the San Francisco with Lady Liberty on the front and the American Eagle on the back. And then I got one from the last day of the strike of, um, this was the last day of the striking of the 2021. Oh, actually, this might have been 2021. Hang on. Might need to get that magnifying glass out. Yeah, it's 2020. And this one is... Okay, I do have to get the magnifying glass out, sorry. <laughs> okay, so this is from the first, the first emergency strike in 2020, and this is from the last strike in 2021. And so there again, Lady Liberty on the front and the American Eagle on the back. And these come in little special case things that I'm not taking apart. Um, they can stay in their little special cases. But um, yeah, so I was really thrilled to get that. And uh, if you want more information about what it is that I do, down in the description below, there is um, a link there where if you click that link and fill out the form and everything else and place an order, you get, um, no, actually just for filling out the form, I think it is, you get a, um, you get a free, um, thingy of silver. <laughs> Sorry, I think it's five grams. You get three, uh, three five grams of silver, I think it is. I can't remember. Hang on, I've got to go look now. What is it? Um, hang on, I'll tell you in a moment. You get a free bar of silver that's one gram. You get a free one gram bar of silver just for filling out the form. So if you would like that, click the link that's in the description below to get your free bar of silver. It's one gram of silver. Um, but, you know, precious metals are one way to build wealth and for the future and everything else. And it's just something really cool that you can have in your um, in your collection and you can leave to future generations and things like that too. And when I was in Pueblo back in 2020, remember I had Barb on with me and she was talking about silver and uh the value of silver and how it's good to, um, because you can't get taxed on this stuff, unless you go cash it in, I guess. Um, but, you know, it's always good to invest in precious metals and things like that. And so this is my little collection that I've started. So I was super excited to get that today and um, unbox it and everything else and play around with it and put my white gloves on and uh, do it. Um, yes. So it was it was a lot of fun um, to get that. So I'm super excited and um and I gotta go put it in my lockbox. Keep them all safe. Yes. So anyway, um, but that was my little bit of fun for today. So it was a very super fantastic sparkling day because I got my coins and I was super excited to get those. Um but um what else was there on my list I was gonna talk about? Hang on, I gotta go through my list here. Oh, that was it. So yeah, we're gonna go and um 
we just had fun with, with music today, playing some music and um, just getting up and dancing today, um, especially after the little busy period I had. It was sort of like, well, I need to take a break. And though I'm not sure, but the new boxes that they've sent us for the Wi-Fi, they, because um, I belong to the uh, Family Motor Coach Association and they have this deal um, on the Wi-Fi where where it was that you paid 50 bucks a month and you got unlimited for it, unlimited um, Wi-Fi. And we were on Sprint at first and then we switched to T-Mobile when they did the merge thing. And then we got a note in June to state, oh, as of 1st of July, we're switching to AT&T and you need to order your new box. And the price is going up to 60 bucks a month. But it's still unlimited and you'll get, um, they'll um, reduce the speed if you go over 75 gigs in the month. And I'm like, okay. And I have to say, I've been using this since I went and picked it up. I got it picked it up on Sunday, and I've been using it since then. And I am not impressed with the speed. I get better speed on this thing, which is with AT and D, than I do on the little Wi-Fi boxy thing that we've got. And um, some pages are taking forever to load, stuff to upload, download. And I'm like looking at the speeds and going, yeah, there is no way that we are getting the full speeds on. The uploads and the downloads on this thing they've it feels like they've got us they've got us restricted already and i'm like okay if this is us restricted then what are they going to get like and you know I'm, the zoom calls seem to go through okay which i am so thankful for but the rest of the time when it's loading pages and stuff you know just even loading gmail it's like just sitting there drumming your fingers waiting so my um, I feel like, <laughs> and I said to Zephy, I said I feel like I'm on dial up again. It's that you know, it's it's slow on um, on loading pages and things. And even though I have cleared cache, I've cleared cookies, I've restarted, I've done all the maintenance stuff and everything else to do everything. I've got a lot of my tabs. Usually I have about thirty or forty tabs open. I think I'm down to ten now. Um, and I'm like looking at what devices are hooked up because it says these devices are hooked up. My phone I don't have on the Wi-Fi during the day, so that's been turned. So I turn the Wi-Fi off during the day. Um, my Fire Stick it says that, that that's on, that's hooked up, but I'm not using it at the time. Um, just like I'm not using my Echo or the iPad at the time, but it's still registering that it's logged on to the thing. So I'm now sort of like, well, do I have to take the Wi-Fi off all of those in order to try and get more speed? Um, I'm trying to remember if we have done. Yeah, we did stream. We did stream the other day. We started watching Terminal List. That was interesting. I only watched the first two episodes of that, and I'm still deciding if I'm going to watch any more. But it was an interesting concept, and uh, so I think I might go watch the third. But I watched the first two episodes, and I had no problem streaming those. Um, so if they turn around and say that's 75 gigs already, I'm going to say, yeah, no, <laughs> I don't think so. Um, but we've been watching a lot of DVDs lately anyway. And even when I now go out, I put DVDs on for Zephy because especially musical DVDs. Um, I had the the dog channel ones on YouTube playing and all of a sudden it starts blaring commercials. And I'm sitting here listening to this beautiful, gentle music and Zephy's up there just quietly watching what's going, you know, watching the world go by outside. And then all of a sudden these commercials come on and, and I'm like well they're gonna switch off and one of them went for like and then one of them went for like well, how long this is gonna go for and it went for 20 minutes and then it went back to the soothing music and then it played another piece and then it put another commercial on so I was putting a commercial in at the end of every musical piece that it was playing and I'm like how is that supposed to relax a dog so I was not impressed so I unsubscribed from those channels because I did not like the commercials coming on during the piece when it's supposed to be anti-stress, anti-anxiety, anti-separation you know, separation anxiety and all that for dogs if you're putting commercials in the middle of everything. And then after an hour of playing, it turns around and says, do you still want to watch this video? And it's a, it was a 15-hour video. You know, do you still want to, do you want to continue watching this video? And I thought, well, what if I wasn't at home? That's going to sit there on pause, at paused, and said, do you wish to continue watching this video? And we were an hour and nine minutes into a 15-hour video. I was like, yeah, let's just put musicals on. You're a couple of hours. And to go and get the mail takes me, well, let's see, Sunday it took me 15 minutes to get there. And then I stopped at Barnes and Noble on the way back and I was gone for an hour and an hour and a half. 
and today I was gone for just over an hour and it was straight down to the mail place, get the mail, get the packages and straight back home again. And that was just over an hour to do that with rush hour traffic. It was 20 minutes to get there instead of the usual 15 when there's no traffic. And um, then I had to wait while they, um, while the people behind the counter were serving those that had got there before me. And then I got, but I only had like about a five, 10 minute wait five minutes no maybe it wasn't even five minutes closer to five minutes so um but yeah with the traffic and everything it took a little longer to get back home um but that's the way it is if you go out during rush hour at the beginning of rush hour to go get your mail you can expect to take longer but Zephy was watching mary poppins today yes that was fun <laughs> it's a good movie yeah that's a good good movie and somebody's come and telling me it's seven o'clock mum it's time to go for a walk but the sun hasn't set yet Zeph. We wait for the sun to get down behind the buildings. Then we go for our walk. We've got 20 minutes. We'll go in 20 minutes. And uh, it's like as soon as you say goodbye, Mum, we're going for a walk. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> oh, I also had to get myself new Bluetooth headphones for when I'm out walking so I can listen to my audiobooks because for some reason, the Bluetooth headphones that I have, even though I keep them charged and everything else when I'm walking they just cut out they just stop playing whatever you know the the book still keeps going and then I've got to back it up 30 seconds to and then it plays fine through that piece and then we get somewhere else and it it just cuts out the sound so I'm not sure if it's the headset or what it is but um got these ones that don't go in the ears but actually sit on the outside of the ears on the bone so I'm curious to try those so I'm going to pair them up with my phone before we go for a walk tonight and give them a try and see but uh, I've got them oops got them here I just char finished charging them um, but these go around the back of the neck over the ears and they sit on the bone here so your ear is still completely open so you can hear everything going on and supposedly you can hear very clearly what's coming through and there's a microphone on one of these site one of these bits so you can actually talk while you thing and it just goes around the back of your head so i thought give them a try see see how those ones work because most of the time i can't find the ones that fit in my ears and the ones that i did have that fitted in my ears beautifully um not sure if they still make them anymore but they um they were plug they were wired ones that were plug and they weren't bluetooth um, but they priced themselves. I mean, when I first got them, it was like 40 bucks for a pair. And the last time I checked to see if I could go get them, and they were still wired, so you had to plug them into the phone, but they were selling up around 100 and something bucks. And I'm like, they just, yeah, no. And I've been through like four pairs of those things because um, I use them constantly because they're the only ones I could find that would fit to my ears. Um, those little but things where you got that little thing that sticks in your ear and sticks to yeah those things just don't stay in my ears so these ones actually go on the bone right here in front of your ear and it's meant to transmit the sound so we're going to give them a go and i'll let you know how they go and there's buttons little buttons here this is where you plug your little charger in it's a usb-c charger um and there's a little button here Oh yeah, this little button here is for answering your phone when it rings. Um, and then this has got the volume control on it. So um, i got to go pair them up. And uh, But they're now fully charged, so now I can go and pair them. And then we'll try them this evening when we go out for our walk. But yeah, try something new. Just, but anyway, I'm out of here. i got to take a puppy for a walk. So have a super fantastic sparkling tune-up Tuesday evening. And we will catch you guys back here tomorrow for... For some reason today, I kept thinking today was Wednesday. I don't know why. I kept thinking today was Wednesday. Yeah, but anyway, we'll catch you back here tomorrow for Winning Wednesday. Hey, Gonara.